having a sports here for our kids. So basically what we do, we put them in three houses and we separate them in red, as you can see, blue and green. And we have them participating against, their one, against each other. So um, this is just something to enhance them, just something fun, you know, bragging rights, you know, trash talking. And you know, it's just a fun day for the parents. How old is Team Rockets? Well, Team Rockets is four years. It started four years ago. And you know, we have grown since, as you can see. Yourself, I'm um, in five years with Team Rockets. Five years from now with Team Rockets. Five years from now? Yes. Five years from now with Team Rockets, you know, I want to tell you, definitely, we are, we are, we are going to have at least three of our youngsters representing the country. You know, we have one so far representing Jamaica and the youth level, Anthony Cox. And I think um, by the next two Olympics, you'll see him, see him there and world champion. So how is it in the club, um, not at league wise only, but academically? Academically, okay. Um, we have to definitely make sure these kids, you know, um, are academically fit going forward. Because, um, you know, in Jamaica, you find that a lot of the athletes running in the high school are not academically sound. We want our kids from the primary level to get themselves ready academically to face high school and then from high school to transition to college. We definitely want education to be the focal point of team markets, including um, sports and track and field. So Team Rockets is a family-friendly environment track club. What, what's your take on that? Well, it's a family-oriented, you know, because all the parents here are here with us. Every single parent represents their child or children. And, you know, whenever we travel, whether it's the United States or around Jamaica, they are like big supporters of the club. And we think that is the key part of it because they watch their children growing in Team Rockets and see where Team Rockets can bring them. Accomplished for 2017. Well, we have accomplished a lot. You know, we have been to meets um, around the country, and um, you know, it has really enhanced our children so far. You know, we went to um, two meets. For the year and we did fairly good in both we came second in one and we came first in the final one of the year and i think um we are making an impact right now all over jamaica as a youth team you know a lot of people have never ever seen a youth program of this magnitude with just kids from the ages of 7 to 12, you know, doing so much, you know, and, and performing at a high level, you know, running against, you know, different kids from different parishes and, you know, we are dominating and, you know, all work that we have done, you know, shows, you know, and our dedication to the sport, you understand, and, and the belief in, in, in the children and, and, you know, encouraging them you know you know their confidence level you know some of them confidence of probably was low you know it's high you know you know going into an environment they've never been before and they've done fairly fairly good you understand again some of the top you know athletes of other schools in jamaica and we are very very happy for them what are you doing out here with Team Rockets today? Well, Team Rockets, I was supposed to say come out to the upper um, How have you been growing since Team Rockets to Jamaica? Well, Team Rockets to Jamaica actually made national early to us then, Nairobi, Kenya, in June the 6th, at in Jamaica. What have you um, accomplished when you have um, went over to when you went over to Kenya? Well, I accomplished a lot in Kenya because I get a personal best for the 653 
and uh, it was very, really achievement for me. What can you say to the parents in St. Anne who has kids that are interested in track and field? Well, team of kids is a good job in St. Anne because we achieve a lot over the years. And to me, parents who come out and support the kids a lot in track and field. Because they have a talent in track and field is number one sport. Hello, my name is Farron Davis. We are with the team of kids club. The sports day today, representing my son, Javan Davis. Um, and I also run 100 meters, 200 meters, 4x1 and 4x2. My name is Mr. Aaron Peter King, and the club's manager name is Mr. Edward Walsh. And the place that I see myself in the future is at our World Championships. Yes, my name is Philip Watson, a proud parent of uh, team of the Chuck Club here in Ocherius. Okay, um, how long have you been in the club? Well, I've been in the club um, since inception. My son has been here and um, I'm really proud of his development so far. He has done very well from um, primary stage, grade six, up to high school now, going into uh, fourth form and he's doing well. Okay, so how well you say he has done well? How well has he done? Well, he has improved. Uh, the coach has done a lot of work with him, uh, straightened up his, um, his form, he, because he was running like all over the place, but you know, straightened up his shoulders and his, his form has been very good. And um, he has been to the ISA champs and been to two semi-finals and did very well, run good time. My son uh, went away on the first trip to America at the AAU Athletics Championship and uh, he was successful at receiving two medals. Um, he came second in the, two, in the 200 meter and um, the, first, the, the fastest 12 year old at the time in the US and um, that was one of Team Rocket's uh, great success at the time. What's your position um, on Team Rocket? I'm the fundraising coordinator. So, um, as a parent, where do you see Team Rocket in a few years? Um, I see the kids um, getting a lot of development. Hopefully we can have more kids um, getting through the Jamaica team and we'll be running for the Olympics because we have one now doing that, so in five years' time, we'll be having more running for that Olympic. So, um, how do you see the kids, not just athletic, but academically? Um, Team Rocket push academically a lot, because um, each, um, each academically area, we have to give in the report, and that coach can sit and help, help in you know, some areas that kids are not um, performing, so they get help for those kids. Those special needs kids. Right, so people yeah, yeah, yeah. are going to be on here watching the interview. What would you say to the parents in St. Anne about Team Rockets? Um, it's family fun. It's fun, fun, fun. Um, whether last for us or we are just one big family. So we don't really um, go according to being first. If a kid come last, we still have with that child. If they come, it's just development going on. Now. And St. Anne's come along and join. We are fun, everybody is one big family here.